Hello everybody, today just I'm making a very quick video to show you how to replace uh, faulty screen or damaged screen on the Huawei. This particular model is NBD, sorry, this way. So the model number is NBD, NBD-WDH9. So to make this, to speed up this, uh, or make the video a little bit smaller, I've already removed these screws which are outside the laptop uh, these are for to remove these you will need a t4 bit uh, so we'll need a t4 bit sure is it is focused and to remove the inside uh, screws you will need just like a normal cross uh, cross screw uh, screwdriver so once these are removed we just need to lift these you probably just need like a uh, one of these and if you lift it from one side and it should lift slowly slowly Just take your time here you can see the inside I would I, I always recommend before removing anything just take a couple of good pictures so we know where each cable goes so to remove the screen we will need to remove these screws so one is here and two are underneath this so we got three screws on this side and we got three screws on the uh, screws on this side also on this model uh, notice it's easier to remove the battery screws as well and it's easier to lift this uh, the cable uh, it must be hard to remove it without and you know taking the, uh, the screws uh, uh, off the battery so i'm just going to put a normal cross screwdriver use a normal cross screwdriver uh, something like this and I'm just gonna start taking removing the screws for the battery so we can disconnect this before we start doing thing just remember the middle one will have a sticker on it so remember to remove this as well always 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 take some nice pictures Few pictures so you remember how everything was plugged in which will save you a lot of time let's lift like from this side first it's like this slowly slowly just make sure these hinges you know come loose and once it's a little bit loose you will need to let me just do a close up you will need to so from like one of the side, either you can use your nail or you can use one of the uh, these tools to you need to lift it and it should just come off. Just take your time while doing this so you don't damage anything. Or best to lift the battery. It's the last one takes a little bit wiggling to remove. And there you go so this is how the connection looks like so battery is removed and this is how the connections on the battery looks here they are now we're just going to remove these screws so we can remove this uh, the screen Once this is removed, we will need to remove this video cable. So if I show you from close up, we will need to remove this uh, video cable. So just to remove the, t the, the tape is on top of it first. And then we need to lift this black, 
this black lever kind of thing you can remove. We lift it just like that. You have to lift this one, this black lever kind of thing. And then we can unplug the video cable. This way. It's like that. Same thing here. We will we'll need to remove the, the wireless uh, antenna cables as well. So just remove this tape when we attach it somewhere else. Also, there is another plastic thing on top of the wireless card. See? And just, just remember, the black uh, cable is on the... Uh, the first is black cable and then this white cable so always take some pictures and just remove it slowly slowly let's say once that's removed the screen should come loose here we go so it's been detach from the the base okay this is how the screen looks now before we peel before we peel these sides uh, this side we will need to open this bottom one because there are two screws holding this uh, this bracket so we need to first remove this one easy way is to start from from here let's get in here this is start from one side and work your way opening the the hinges and slowly slowly Just take your time. Here we go. So just remember when putting it back this bay it goes on the bottom and this is the top bay this is the top bay and this is the bottom bay okay there are two screws which is holding this bay one is here and one is here the second one is here let's open that and now we can start removing when you remove this first time it's going to have a very strong adhes ad adhesive so just take your time and remove this slowly slowly There we go. Now we just need a spatula or one of these. The first time when you lift the screen, it's going to be very, very, very strong adhesive around this area. So you have to use something like this to remove that slowly, slowly, and then. The screen should just lift off these two this side and this side is a these are the double tapes so you have to take your time but removing it and 
once when you order the uh, the new screen just make sure the connection on the uh, you, you check the connection which side the connection is and to remove this cable from the old one you just li lift this lever the lever here which you need to lift and then this sh cable should just pop out and now we can install the new screen Okay, so before we apply the uh, or install the new screen, we have to do some prep work on this uh, the top plate which goes on top of the screen. It's very uh, fragile kind of, uh, especially these top ones are very, very uh, narrow or small. So I can feel <clears throat> the double tape we have on these corners still has some glue. So they are sticking. However, the bottom one is it's not much so I'm going to remove this and install the new double tape on this one and then we can install so let's start by removing this tape double tape from here hopefully it will peel off easily Probably I'm just going to pause the video here, remove this bottom double tape and then I resume after I've installed it and then take it from there. Okay, so I've just applied the double tape on the bottom uh, because if you try to install it without the double tape here, this bay will not stick properly, it will just it should show like quite lifted and look doesn't look nice. So I'm hoping these, the other tapes, uh, they will hold the screen properly. Uh, what I've noticed is easy and best way to install the screen on, uh, tie the screen to this one first and then to the top cover. So let's just, uh, just try to peel this off so I can install the screen. Okay, I need this one. I bought this double tape from Amazon for around seven pound. It's called E7010. Seems to be good quality. There's a 50 meter and three millimeter wide, I think. There we go. So yeah, just make sure the uh, the, the screen you buy new one is, is correct and it has the, the connector on the right side. So this one, this particular, uh, this is my right hand side. So it had the connector on the left hand side and also I had the 30 pins. So what I've just done is obviously after applying the double tape on the top cover, this top cover, I've just placed it so because I found it's easier to apply this first and then install on the back now on the back uh, cover so you need to make sure these these corners matches properly or sit properly on this these corner if you can you know uh, match these properly then it's going to be easy to uh, make the you know screen will sit properly also you can if you you can always apply extra tape on the back as well uh, double tape at the back to me because the only thing going to be holding the screen is just these these two screws so maybe it's better to apply some tape uh, back uh, uh, double tape here so i'm just going to apply some here as well and then i'm going to place the screen and uh, then we move to the next step so okay let's just quickly apply a little bit tape on the backs here just gonna apply two Just a little bit extra hole, that's all. Use these tweezers to lift the top. They, come, they came with the, uh, the double tape I've ordered. Here 
we go. Okay, so now let's just make sure these corner matches first and then we can make the, the screen sit and hopefully I don't have to lift this because now we got double tape at the back. So making sure these two corners looks okay. And I can see the screws are on the right place. Here we go. Let's apply some pressure to make it sure it sits properly. Yeah, now it's just equal. So I'm just going to install the, uh, the screws now. Okay. This looks good. And now what we need to do is we need to install the this top bracket and again make sure the with the line comes on the top so we need to make sure we go inside these hinges and we are not uh, squeeze squashing these cables and once this look equal we can lift and we can start pushing it so the, just the clips here we go so the top part is ready and now we can move to the uh, second bay where we can install the uh, the bottom part. Just gonna make some space on the table. So how we need to install it? Basically, first we need to make it's it's, it's not gonna go like this. Basically, you have to turn the other way around. So I'm just gonna so basically, this is the back. Uh, this is the base. And we can't install it like this because it goes the other way around. So we need to hold them like this for first screw. And once the first screw is secured, we can, you know, close uh, close the uh, close the, uh, the top bit, and then it's going to be easier. So I'm just going to install the first screw, couple, first couple of screws, which is going to be a little bit a uh, little bit hard to do. Not hard, but just like a little bit different. Uh, you have to keep hold in a certain angle so here you can see here this side is sitting now it's gonna make this fit this side here we go so I'm just gonna put a screw on one side each and then we can close to move to, uh, move to the next part so everything is gonna stay here let's get a screw there we go once we have one screw in there this gets a lot easier sorry there we go so we've got one screw here now now I'm gonna do to this side one of the screw this one's for the battery one good thing is on this laptop all the screws inside ones they are the same size so you don't have to worry where it goes okay good so we have one screw on this side out of three and one on this side out of three so now i should be able to close this so it's going to be easier there we go so now we're just going to finish the job we can tie it and install the cables properly and and before I obviously close it fully what I'll do is I will just uh, after attaching the cables I will check to make sure the display is coming to save time in case you know something doesn't work or the screen is not installed properly hopefully not So for inside you just need a normal uh, cross screwdriver and for outside you need a T4. Okay. Okay. 
okay so these screws are done for hinges so three one two and three on this side and one two and three on this side and we got three more left for the battery so we can start with installing the the video video cable actually let's leave it like this so you can see it properly so this is going to go here Gently push it in. There you go. Once it's in fully from both sides, we have this black lever. We can pull, push that in now. Once so you're happy that yes, looks good. And put apply the top tape as well. And some tape here as well, which you can try to reapply. You can always apply new tape on here, but it's okay. That side is done. Now we can move to the uh, our actually I just leave it like that so I don't have to turn around. So this is the uh, wireless cables. Let's just install these hinges just to make it tidy. We'll go around these hooks. And here is the the Wi-Fi thing. And I think if I remember properly, the first one had the black, and the the sec second had the white one. And we, that's why we the having pictures is very 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 handy because once you unplug something, if you don't have a, like a pic image or something, it's very hard to check where it was plugged in. Just gonna fix these and then I resume the video because I need to bring them closer to me. Just gonna pause the video here. Okay, so I've installed the the uh, the wireless cable. Also installed the two tapes which comes on top of the uh, uh, the wireless card. And we're just gonna install the second tape as well. And the last thing we got left here. Is to install the battery and in this so this video you can see how to replace the battery as well if you have to do it um, you know the just just make sure you check the connector when you buy the new one and it's quite easy to install so let's just install it first physically and then basically just like you you, you have to uh, push once it's aligned we just push it in and it will just clip on It's easier to install the cable first and then push it. Let's see. Let's see. And then can hopefully Yeah, that looks okay to me. And now we can install the screws. Just want to make sure it looks okay. Does it look lifted or something? I think it looks okay. Let's just make sure. I think they look good. So there's three screws for goes on the top of the battery cover, battery, sorry. Remember the middle one had the sticker on it. So when, when you first time removing it, don't forget to remove that as well. So here we go. 
so we have our video cable attached our wi-fi cables attached and now we should be able to test it probably it's a good idea to put the back plate without the screws and then back cover sorry and then we test it before we do all the screws so let's see what is called battery okay yeah battery you can see some lights and here we go so screen does looks good and okay i can just turn it off there we go screen looks good keyboard looks good and just going to turn it off tighten the screwdrivers sorry screws and then i think we are done here Turn it off. Shut down. Okay. So for, for the outside sc uh, screws, you will need a T4 screwdriver. Okay. And we have around. Screws. It's always easy to keep the inside and outside screws separately, so it's easier to put it back. So we need T4. We need a T4 there, and then let's just start installing them. They'll all look the same size which is handy again it's handy my the the uh, the screws I'm, uh, screwdriver i'm using is, is magnetic as well so it's just it's quite helpful when you have that these small uh, screws to hold them in place Okay, just gonna pause the video here to screw these and then show you the final product. Okay guys, so all the screws are in now and laptop looks good. Everything looks proper solid. I think this is the first time I've done I worked on this Huawei laptop and uh, the build quality wasn't that bad. It's uh, good quality. Uh, I was, you know, I'll be surprised as well. So, screen looks good. Turning on. And yeah, thanks for watching and I hope this will help if you have to change your screen. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.